Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. And this morning, I want to share a devotion with you entitled The Radiant Face. Okay? And let us turn to Exodus chapter 34, verse 29. And here it says, When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the covenant law in his hands, he was not aware that his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. And with that, I want to share with you three things about the radiant face of Moses. All right? Firstly, why did Moses' face become radiant? It is because he had spent time with the Lord, not casually, but intimately. You know? All right? There's a huge difference between these two words. Um, if you have a casual relationship, that means your relationship is just on a very superficial level. But if you have an intimate relationship, then you are able to know that person in a much deeper manner. And that's why, you know, Moses was called the friend of God. Hmm? He was called the friend of God. And because of this intimacy, Moses knew very well who God is. And God revealed his plan to Moses. You know, all of us, I believe we are able to spend time with the Lord. But how many of us, we really take the time, be still before Him, and to commune with the Lord, so that we can really know who God is, and really understand His plan for our life. So church, in spite of our busyness, I want to encourage you that, you know, let us make God as the priority in our schedule, and when we do that, let us have an intimate relationship with him. Okay? Secondly, how come Moses was unaware that his face was radiant? One of the many reasons is this. It is because Moses was a humble man. You know, although he was the Egyptian prince, although God had chosen him to be the leader of his people, although God had used him to perform so many miracles, Although he had personally met God face to face, yet he did not become proud and he remained a humble man. You know, sometimes when we have certain power and privilege, it's very easy for us to become proud, isn't it? And we think that we are very great, all right? But church, this morning, let us always remain humble, okay? Remain humble. Why? Because... God doesn't use people who think that they have it all, all right? They got everything. But God always uses people who are willing to empty themselves and allow God to fill them. And when that happens, when we are humble before the Lord, God will definitely do great things in us and through our lives. Amen? And thirdly, what is the significance of Moses radiant face. It means that God's glory is with him, and his face reflects God's glory. You know, when we spend time with God intimately and humble ourselves before him, God's glory is going to fall on us. And when that happens, when God's glory falls on us, it means that his very presence is with us. And in his presence, there is fullness of joy. There is uh, the every part of His goodness in our life, His peace, His, his hope, you know, His strength, His favour will fill our lives. All right? That means that is the meaning of God's glory. And not only we have all this, but we also reflect God's glory. And what that means, what it means by reflecting God's glory, it means that we become more like God because our face, you know, is radiant. So we become more like God. We are being transformed, become uh, to be more like Him in His image. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says here, being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory. And this reflection of God's glory, you know, when our face is radiant, not only it fills us, all right, but we are able to shine it on others too. And as a result, people will be able to see the glory of God through our lives, and they are going to praise God. Amen? So in my closing church, let us spend time with God, not casually, 
but intimately and always be humble. And when we do that, we will then have a radiant face like Moses, ever glowing, ever shining. And God's glory is going to fall on us. And when that happens, our life will be filled with so much great blessings. And people will know God through us. Why? Because we are reflecting God's glory through our lives on others. Amen? May you find this devotion encouraging to you and you have a great day today. God bless you.